Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. So, yes, the scene's painted, all the kits fitted, everything's working. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. Not everything's working. So, it's been a painful four days. Picked it up four days ago, didn't film it because I know there's going to be a lot of problems wrong with it. I need to sort stuff out. So, first situation was picked up from Upton. I had to drive it to Tewkesbury, a fair few miles. The fuel gauge wasn't even reading. And on this car, I need to put a swirl pot in it. So, if it's under quarter, it starts a fuel fuel cut, so under quarter tank fuel cut. Whereas this, it wasn't even reading on the gauge. So, oh my God, I'm gonna quickly get to Shell, put some Shell V-Power in it, Shell was closed. The only garage close to me then was Morrison's. I had to put some E5 90, E5 95 octane in it, which really hurt me to put it in, but I had to, couldn't get anywhere. So I literally put like five, 10 quid in, and then managed to get to BP, put some BP in. That's 97, so it's not the best, but got me going. Um, so yeah, it was a pain in the ass to drive with all that fuel cut in. Managed to get it to, no, then I brought it home and the rear brakes were smoking, uh, handbrake was locked on. And at this point I'm two hours until I've got an MOT. I was running around trying to get the handbrake sorted. Turns out a tiny little retainer that keeps the shoes in and fell out. Popped that in, drove fine, got it to MOT, passed MOT, happy days. Next day, driving it to golf and rear brake stuck on again. And I was like, oh my God, I need to order the bigger retainers because retainers keep falling out. So I ended up taking the shoes out until the new retainers had come in and thinking, oh yeah, problem solved, happy days. Next day, brakes locked on again. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, it's rear calipers. But previously I've had the rear calipers rebuilt. I've had brand new brake lines, I've had brand new master cylinders. So at this point I'm like, oh my God, this is just a stress. Every time I drove a car, it just broke over the past four days. Um, so anyway, I've now ordered, I've got brand new brake pads, front and rear, not the best makes, but it's just what was in stock. And I got some spark plugs as well, because the car's not running too right, but where it's been sat for so long and it runs so rich. Uh, I've gone for a colder plug now because the RB25 runs on sixes, but because once it's over about 400 brake, you go down to sort of BCPR70S, so it's a colder plug. So apparently RB25 runs better on that. So I've got some brand new plugs, so it'll run a little bit better. And some new brake pads, not the best to make, but it's something I can get that was in stock now. Um, so hopefully that fixes it. So I need to get some sandpaper and just clean up the runways where the brake pads sit in the, uh, the calipers clean that up, grease it all up, put some new pads in. Hopefully that will stop the rear brakes from locking on and because it's like driving and just smoking everywhere. It's horrible to drive. Um, yeah, and it's just really jumpy. So hopefully pads and spark plugs will sort that out. If that's then fixed, I'll get the retainers and get the handbrake shoes back in and ha happy, everything will be working on it then. Um, cold starts better now. The car's starting to learn. So from when I had it tuned, I think it was like August when I had it, had it tuned. Um, whereas obviously now it's like starting to learn and teach itself in the ECU so the cold starts getting a lot better. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so last year when I drove it it was overheating a lot so I pulled the thermostat out. Uh, it's not overheating anymore, uh, so that's mint. So paint's good, overheating problem sorted. Now I just need to sort out the brake problem and the car be mint to drive. Yeah, so the car looks mint now, it looks so much better. Um, so we've had the roof sorted, smoothed out, so from all the years of it being in the garage, stupidly me standing on the roof to get into the roof of my garage, put loads of dents in it, so that's all smoothed out. Uh, the door was rusted, that's all been welded up, smoothed out. Obviously skirts, everything's live nutted on. I want to get some um, like button head um, bolts, some rubber washers, maybe some gold zinc, just a nice little finishing touch. Um, but everything just looks so much better. The car really dirty because I've been driving it for four days. It needs a wash, um, but it just looks so good. So happy that it's all one colour. But for me, I am over the moon with the quality of how this paint has come out. At the moment, the car's really dirty, so you can't really tell. But yeah, it's when it's clean, oh, it's such a good colour. It really does come out really nice. I am starting to think these calipers need another rebuild. There's a lot of fluid coming out. That crack, look, like these pads are soaked. Look, it's even dripping, let like you see. 
So I'm thinking calipers are done. Maybe another rebuild. Who knows? That doesn't mean good for me because that means it's not driving today. <laughs> Fucking thing. So, we found the problem. Obviously, these are the old brake pads. Nothing, absolutely nothing there. So they need changing, of course. But that is what's caused the problem. So obviously, look at this. Hang on, let me get a good light. So you can see that piston there. There's literally no seal left on it. Even the other one's starting to go. Um, so I think they've been pushed out too far. That's what they have. So you just needed new brake pads in the start. Stupidly didn't put new ones on and there we go literally brand new calipers well not brand new brand new rebuilt calipers wrote off straight away hey well we live and we learn but at least we found the problem so, I'll get the other side off right so the front brake pads done meant feel so much better rear calipers are off ready to go riches all I did is disconnect the rear mass cylinder from my brake bias from the pedal box um, and then mole grips the rear line so hopefully when I put it back on there won't be much bleeding today so pulled it inside colour looks so good um, what I'm doing now is number plates currently in the front window and I can't couldn't decide how to attach the front number plate because obviously it's a freshly painted new bumper but I got one of these jobbos um, so we'll mount sort of there and all I have to do is screw Drill two holes in the bumper underneath there, so it's like that. So if it ever does go to show, it's not that it's a show car. Um, I can just pop that off, and boom, it still looks really nice and clean. So I'm going to put it around there, and then I just attach the plate to there. Just do that. So number plate brackets on. So we're getting more legal as we go on. So that's it for this video. Um, unfortunately, there's no drive in this video. Um, Obviously with the rear calipers, it just is what it is. Sometimes project cars just go like that. This is the second time they're getting rebuilt now, but it's only myself to blame because I didn't change the bloody pads. So we'll live and learn. Um, next video, hopefully I'll, um, uh, I've got some like mics and stuff for the GoPro and like a media mod and all that. So the next uh, video when I can drive it, hopefully we'll get some good shots, some good turbo noises. Um, and just some good ride along driving videos because uh, I can't wait to drive it. It drives so much better now that the brakes aren't locked on. I tell you what, it was driving absolutely horrible and it was just annoying me every time. But this car drives so well now, um, I just need to get rear brakes on so obviously I have some braking force. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait. Wait out for the next video, there's going to be some good driving shots. See you next time.